stop eating, at least the way you do now. After hearing about these numerous health benefits of fasting, you may just consider it. From weight loss to improve of cognitive function, to better sex drive and increase in testosterone. Let's go over different types of fasting and find out which ones are good for your sexual health and which ones will just harm you. Let's start by clarifying that the primary goal and benefit of fasting is improvement of metabolism and weight loss. When you fast, your body enters the state of ketosis, burning fat for fuel instead of glucose. This metabolic switch can help you shed extra weight and body fat. This, among many other great health benefits, can indirectly positively impact your sex life. Being overweight or obese can lead to hormonal balance, such as low testosterone in men and high estrogen in women, which can negatively impact your libido. As you probably already know, there are many types of fasting. In this video, I will be discussing two most common types of fasting and their impact on sexual health, total fasting and intermittent fasting. Total fasting is a complete refusal of food for 24 to 36 hours. When your body goes without food for extended period of time, it can experience changes in hormonal levels and metabolism. As I already mentioned, during fasting, the body may shift in the state of ketosis, where it burns stored fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. Even though this helps you to lose weight, it can also cause a decrease in insulin and increase in fat-free fatty acid production, which can lead to negative impact on hormonal levels and sexual function. In particular, low insulin level and high level of free fatty acids have been shown to lead to decrease in production of testosterone in men. Some men who engage in total fasting often experience a decrease in libido, difficulty achieving and maintaining erection, and increase in fatigue and weakness. The symptoms can also lead to anxiety and depression, which can further impact the sexual function and overall wellness. Another problem with total fasting when you would not consume any food or liquid, that it can also lead to dehydration, which can cause a decrease in blood volume and therefore decrease in blood flow to the penis. This, as you understand, can make it more difficult to achieve and maintain the erection. Therefore, I do not recommend this type of fasting if your goal is to improve the sexual function and increase your testosterone level. But you can get an opposite result if you turn to a method called intermittent fasting. By the way, if you're interested in all the methods I usually recommend to my patients for improvement of erection, please check out my book Sexual Wellness for Men. The link is in the description below. The intermittent fasting is one of the most popular types of fasting and according to research and many studies is the most beneficial type of fasting if you're interested in the sexual wellness. Usually intermittent fasting has two numbers. The first number indicates how many hours you are fasting and the second number indicates how many hours you are allowed to eat. So normal these recommendations will be based on the current state of your health. The health factors such as blood sugar level, the health of your liver, gallbladder and pancreas, as well as the health of your stomach and gastrointestinal tract. For some people, eating only once a day may be very beneficial, when for others, having such a long breaks between meals may be very unhealthy and cause significant health issues. I personally prefer 16-8 ratio, when you fast for 16 hours and then you have 8 hours to consume all necessary nutrients such as proteins, carbohydrates and fats. You can eat 8 hours in the morning, for example between 8 and 4, or in the afternoon, for example between 12 and 8. I personally prefer to eat the first part of the day, this way I have a chance to utilize all the calories calories that I'm consuming during those hours. It makes sense to eat during the hours that you are most active, or quite honestly, whatever works with your schedule. Of course, you still have to watch what you eat and minimize the consumption of foods that are just simply not good for you and not healthy. Sugars, processed food, simple carbohydrates, 
and unhealthy forms of fats. Here are just few benefits of this form of fasting. Reduction of bad cholesterol, reduction of insulin resistance, which is super important, reduction of systemic inflammation around the body and gastrointestinal tract, weight loss, improvement of cell repair, increase in production of growth hormone levels, which of course helps you to recover much faster, give you more strength and improve your metabolism. And of course, increase in testosterone production. Another important factor to consider when practicing any form of fasting is nutrition. Men who are fasting should ensure they are consuming enough nutrients to support their sexual health. This includes foods that are rich in zinc, like oysters, beef, and pumpkin seeds, which can help to boost testosterone levels and improve sperm quality. Additionally, consuming foods that are high in antioxidants, such as berries and leafy greens. They can help you to protect against oxidative stress and support overall sexual health. It is important to consult a doctor and nutritionist before starting a fast. It's important because fasting can have a very different effect on different people. For example, people with certain medical conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, or low blood pressure may not be able to safely fast at all. The doctor can help you assess your individual health risks and determine if fasting is a good option for you. Additionally, doctor nutritionists can provide guidance on how to break the fast safely to avoid unnecessary side effects such as dizziness, nausea, or dehydration. They can also recommend the best type of foods to eat during the fast to ensure that you're getting all necessary nutrients, vitamins, and support your overall health and well-being. As you can see, fasting can certainly improve your erection, but if your palatal muscles are weak, you wouldn't be able to achieve a very good effect. Watch this video on how to properly train these muscles to double your results.